Welcome to my illustrated podcast, Art and Flight Nixon, dedicated to a new show in the Museum Bonnefanten in Maastricht, in the Netherlands, with the Bonnefanten Museum. In the first room we see four sculptures called Penthesilea. First made for an opera, or first thought of as props for an opera. But these four versions were conceived as sculptures. And their form is based on metal stands used in slaughterhouses to judge the quality of a cow's hide. So you can see the hook there with which the hide is attached to the metal stand. And these sculptures consist of wax forms, wet wax objects, textures, shapes that have been painted into silicone molds of cow hides. So we see a metal stand here. form seemingly hanging on this hook colored by using different kinds of wax with different colors and thus creating a phallic shape which at the same time seems to contain evocations of the female genitals. Origin du monde, origins of the world, sacred, forbidden images. Structurally, these sculptures are new in Berlina de Breiker's work because before she made casts of shaven horses, but here the casts are made of the cow hides. The silicone molds uh, take with them some of the hair of the cow hide. And then when the wax is painted into the silicone mold, the hairs uh, come out of the mold and come with the wax. At the same time, sometimes, even small particles of the silicone mold stick on the final shape. One of the four sculptures has sturdy feet. The three others, and I imagine they came later, have thinner feet to make the sculptures lighter, I think, or seem lighter and more elegant. In the next room, we will see a series of sculptures called Shemkel. which is a word derived from a Polish poem. And actually the shape 
is based on the wing of an angel. The idea is that the idea was to make sculptures based on the shape of a wing. You can see this very well in the first one. The left wing of an angel. And in these sculptures, the same wax technique of wax painted into silicone molds made of cow hides is used, but combined as well with very beautiful curtains from some castle or other golden curtains with these fringes I don't know how you call them in English and here as well we find an intricate surface texture very painterly texture here we see particles of the silicone mold that have been ripped out of the mold and add an extra layer. Here we see the original hair of the cow. Then we see parts of bear wax. And then we see the curtain. Again, we see a phallic shape. the shape of a scrotum or bald sack which in drawings of Belinda de Bereikere is compared to or fused with the shape of uh, vaginas. Why? I don't know. Because it creates or reinforces the idea that we are watching things that are not supposed to be watched or because we are watching objects that might have a deterrent effect, like a media head. I don't know or because they are sculpturally thought and sculptures are created by removing material, adding material, making holes and making folds. I think the work is very painterly, look at these colors, and also thoroughly sculptural.
northern sculpture. Abstract human form. Made with different cars, different bodies, sometimes also animal bodies. New sculptures based on the shape of tree trunks representing for Berlina de Bracere Saint Sebastian A tree One tree of twins Originally the sculpture consists of two variations of this sculpture In the first version the Cripplewood sculpture the tree was um, taken care of as if it were wounded. I don't know the word um, bandit. Does one say bandit? Here as well, but less explicitly so. I once wrote about Berlin's work that. Her sculptures seem to be suckles for the night, as if they were invitations, or not invitations, but as if the actual subjects were the black holes. In this room we see a painterly sculpture called Lily. It's a series, I think there are five of them now. Of sculptures that repeat the same themes I already named. But including um, originally wallpaper and here maybe a kind of bed cover or rich curtain I don't know the three first ladies were made with paper this one with fabric um, wax works are called Lilies, of course, there's a reference again to the female genitals, but also because she really sees her sculptures as a kind of flowers with strong pistils and fragile leaves. Again. We meet looming darkness, fragility, care as well, but also a reflection on surface texture, a very painterly reflection, and one on sculpting and the essence of sculpting, of course, as in these drawings based on the nail sex organs revealing that genitals are always 
coming from the same origin and just have unfolded themselves differently throughout evolution. Here we see a sculpture based on the bodies of two horses deposited within a cupboard that has glass doors on all sides, which makes it amazingly sculptural and pictorial. Also for one of the first times, it's the first time I see it, we meet horses with real heads. Before they never had heads. They have become individuals. They are not obscene. They are tender or represented tenderly. I think sculpturally it's very beautiful, but also so. Basically, these sculptures are polyester forms covered with horse skin. This room we find two also painterly sculptures that I'm very fond of. They are the fourth and the fifth version of a series of sculptures created in June 2018 by finding blankets in the studio um, hung one over the other by the assistants because Berlinda wanted to see some blankets that had been deteriorating in the garden for her sculpture Cripplewood created for the Biennial of Venice she had her assistants deteriorate blankets for her in washing machines with cobblestones which took an enormous amount of energy and time. Also scraping them with stones, etc. Until she realized that if she would put them in the garden, they would deteriorate by themselves. And indeed, sometimes bacteria create new patterns on the blankets that look like deer hides, but also turn the wool again into a kind of animal skin. Of course, apart from this surface uh, matter, texture, it is also a very beautiful sculpture that seems to refer to paintings of the Flemish primitives, to altar pieces, crucifixions, And in a very painterly way, they might reveal a kind of ghosts or faces or figures that appear and disappear, that loom. Two sculptures here called Arcangelo. They're angels as well. And they are the last sculptures Berlinde de Bruyker made, three of them, two on view here, because she thought the spectator needed more figures and less abstraction in her work. We see the same shapes. You see the dark space in the middle. 
and the combination of a phallic with a supposedly feminine shape. These interpretations are not really important as to me because they are just basic ways of sculpting. On the surface level again, we meet naked wax very often because the silicone mold has been used so often that there is no hair left. Freshly used silicone mold used already once and then the second time giving only a few hairs. Ik ben bijna klaar. I have to shut up now. of deer hides recreate a dark animal shape because the hides do not have an equal thickness so they more or less repeat the shape of the animal it's kind of ghost These are reconstructions of piles of freshly removed hides treated with salt immediately, which he found in a slaughterhouse. this sculpture the weight of the second stack crushing the remains of freshly killed animals but of course also a sculpture about stability architecture construction Sockel, sockels in sculpture. You can always see her work as something that speaks of suffering and solace, but also about painting, about sculpture, about architecture about sculptural thinking. <laughs> 